I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here is your NBC3 forecast. Today is an improvement over yesterday. It's not a perfect day, but we'll take the improvement over yesterday's deluge. In fact, you can see all the pictures on our Facebook page of how wet it is over and how those waterways and lakes and rivers and streams and creeks are bulging, overflowing. We've got some clouds and fog to work through this morning, and then we should have clouds and some sunshine today. Now, there's still an opportunity for a hopscotched, scattered type shower, hit and miss style, with most of them showing on radar near or east of the 81 corridor. Hey, a high of 73 is 12 degrees warmer than yesterday. We'll take it. Waterways are running high, but we have some somewhat better weather today and a super Saturday on tap for you tomorrow. Sunday, like we've been saying all week, is still looking mixed. I still think there's probably going to be some showers. We'll show you the percentage of the chance of rain coming up in a bit. It's still unsettled, but hopefully a little bit drier next week. What we do not have is any heat meaning nothing in the upper 80s, nothing in the 90s over the next seven days. And remember, the normal high is 77. So this morning, we've got to work through some of that moisture. We had some clearing right around sunrise, and that's allowed some fog to form. Fog is thick in some spots, not so thick in others. So there's going to be a, a kind of a, a grade of some spots getting the sun out first versus others. Even when we do, it isn't like we go from fog to sun and that's it. We still have an unstable atmosphere. There's a little weak disturbance that's coming through this afternoon. That plus the fact there's a ton of moisture on the ground that will produce numerous cumulus clouds to pop up. So we go from fog to clouds and some sun. And like I mentioned before, there's an opportunity for scattered showers. Here's the 81 quarter that I'm going to draw for you right about there. That's not perfect, but you notice that at least on this map, I'm not saying there's not going to be any showers over here because there may be one or two, but I think if you look at the radar later today, you'll probably notice more of the speckled nature of showers on the radar being near and east of the 81 corridor, high in the lower 70s. Overnight tonight with clear sky and still a ton of moisture in the soils, there's probably going to be at bare minimum some valley fog, some waterway fog, and there might even be some other fog than that too. So we'll have to burn through the fog and then the sun comes out and we've got that great top shelf, top notch Saturday for you. Just an absolute beauty with a high near 75. Enjoy Saturday. It looks primo. Now Sunday, it's still basically the same forecast that I've been talking about all week long. There's going to be a system that passes through. Now, whether it's scattered like you see here on the radar or it's a full line, I'm not 100% sure because you get through this time of year and it can be scattered. We will probably have some showers. Here's the amount of sun today, 50-50. Amount of sunshine tomorrow, 90%, and the third of the amount of sun, I hope, on Sunday. Here's your precipitation probability. This afternoon, there's a almost 50-50 chance of a shower to pass through. Nothing like what you saw yesterday. It is not going to rain tomorrow. It's probably going to rain at some point on Sunday. I am hopeful it is not an all day thing. I'm hoping it's only a few hours of showers and then some sun comes out. Here's your seven day forecast. The normal high is 77. So we're making progress on this. If you averaged all those numbers, we'd be pretty darn close to normal temperatures for this time of year. Local temperatures for you, northeastern temperatures, and the nationwide numbers. Here's a look at the nationwide set, Red.